as we come together to this morning. Let us greet the people who are with us in person as we come together and celebrate as one community. Let us begin our celebration with our gathering hymn, number 633, Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You have shown us the way to the Father. You have given us the consolation of truth. You are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping, your, in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. In the third month, after their departure from the land of Egypt, on its first day, the children of Israel came to the desert of Sinai. After the journey from Rephidim to the desert of Sinai, they pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountain, the Lord told Moses, I am coming to you in a dense cloud, so that when the people hear me speaking with you, they may always have faith in you also. When Moses then had reported to the Lord the response of the people, the Lord added, Go to the people and have them sanctify themselves today and tomorrow. Make them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai before the eyes of all the people. On the morning of the third day, there were peals of thunder and lightning and a heavy cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast so that all the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God and they stationed themselves at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was all wrapped in smoke, for the Lord came down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. The trumpet blast grew louder and louder while Moses was speaking, the God, and God answering him with thunder. When the Lord came down to the top of Mount Sinai, he summoned Moses to the top of the mountain. The word of the Lord.
glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Ent of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Forever. Ah, 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 alleluia, alleluia, yeah, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. Gospel according to Matthew. He said, Why do you souls? He said to them in reply, The of heaven has been granted. It has not been granted. More will be given, and he will grow rich from anyone who has taken away. This in parables, because they look but do not see, and do not listen. Isaiah's prophecy is for shall indeed hear, but not un but never see. Grow hardly hear with their ears. They have closed. They see with their eyes and and understand with their heart. And I heal them. Blessed are your eyes, because they see, because they hear. Prophets and righteous people long see, but did not see it, and to hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. might have noticed that we prayed for an increase in hope, faith, and charity. Hope and charity when the opening collect, hope, faith, and charity of choice of baptism. So we do well it's to reflect upon these theological virtues, which we hear about so often. Many people pray for an increase. So what are these virtues? Well, first of all, from our human nature, from our parents, as well as from God, and our souls straight from the Trinity, straight from his creating work in each soul that but that's just human nature. Nothing has these powers to believe and to love God as a friend. We get it, second birth, the birth of baptism, from the baptism of sanctifying grace. Baptism is the old life, the divine life of sanctifying grace, which is a share in the life of God. It actually if it doesn't destroy our nature. It elevates our nature. Supernatural human beings, above nature, not against nature, above nature. The more we grow in holiness, we should become. We should become perfected in our nature. Jesus, present blesses outside of the Blessed Sacrament in this human said that is a very nat he's a he's superhuman he's supernatural anyway hope and charity these three virtues it is the virtue that God has revealed on the authority or on the word of God revealing more time faith is the virtue by which we revealed on the authority of Neither deceive nor be deceived. He can't be wrong. There's reasons to believe, reasons to back up uh, our faith. It's all about. We look in today's verse of God speaking to uh, thunder and trumpet and all this stuff. 
things like that. These are what we call mode leave. But those in and of one proof of that is you can have person A see well, those in and of themselves aren't enough to believe, confirm us in faith, but God needs to give us a lectures. When Jesus said, so he said that's all the apostles, well, some say John the Baptist come back from the dead. Some say Elijah come back from heaven. And then he said, who do you say that I am? And Peter, speaking up for the, for the living God, he didn't say, oh, good guess, Peter, say that. He said, blessed are you, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. It hasn't been any mere human being who's told this to you and to you, right? And then he goes and makes some lights. It's a light for our mind given through that grace of baptism to see as a trinity. Christ is God. The Catholic Church is Christ's church. I can believe and therefore trust the church. All the way through to I believe the Catholic Church. I believe in the communion of saints. Forgive me. Jews are lights for the mind that God gives. It's not like I'm 90% this stuff is true. No, it's certitude. That's faith. How do we protect it? We protect it by digging into the truths of the faith, deep of the seed in the sower. Uh, we, I think it was last Sunday, maybe, or recently. Um, and he's, the seed falls on the ground and is eaten up by the... What did that represent? Of course, to understand. And, there, and sadly, I've seen this in many, many of us. If we don't deepen our understanding, Satan using the, the, the world, usually, right? Acts, but understanding confirms us and make acts of faith frequently the daily rosary daily mass are so good ourselves in our faith as well as get help that's faith what's one of the belief things we believe lasting life the resurrection of that we should be looking for in the nicene creed which we were look forward to the resurrection of the dead it, it's kind of like the looking forward that a kid has on Christ's day that's the kind of attitude we should have and to the eternal life of have the virtue by which we firmly trust is trust. Faith is in the intellect, holy, and the will. We firmly trust. He's all good, so he's trustworthy. All will give us everlasting life. Trusting God to get us to heaven because he's good and he's all powerful, and he will give us hope is not necessarily, it's not the world. Sometimes I'll hear folks. If we have to exercise hope, it should be a natural hope, but don't call that, that's not supernatural hope. You know, he says, oh, you lack hope. It's like, no, I'm just realistic. God did not, in fact, he promised us we will. I'm not saying give up hope and realize that some might be crosses. In fact, they will be crosses. So sometimes God will give us a cross as a means to all is well, right? All is well about the good of the next life. Only if it leads me to the next life. Only if it leads me to the next life. And lastly, God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength in our neighbor, but loving him with the love of friendship and a friend, right? That's what their charity. Loving God as a father. And James, of course, Our Lady and St. Joseph, may we all deepen our understanding of these beautiful virtues and practice charity, loving God as our Father and selves, out of love for God. Hail Mary, blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. St. Anne, St. James. Amen. to be buried in the ground, but are to be users. Let us pray that we may multiply God's gifts by our intelligent use of them. Make us your good and faithful government leaders who have been granted more power, initiatives, and responsibilities. And be not like persons. Let us pray to the Lord and faithful servants. May everyone take the boat of the church instead of saying, staying on the safe the church's mistakes. Lord, make us good and spend our time and talents as the Lord will take them away from us. Let us pray to the Lord. But prophets and righteous people long for the salvation brought by Jesus in the death and in his. Let us pray to the Lord and faithful servants. 
may our departed brothers and sisters experience that the, for which the human heart Lord, make us your good and faithful. For the intentions of Alma Loso and for the repose of the soul of Lucia Aquino, let us pray to the Lord. And we join in prayer of thanksgiving with Golda Gilardi. Let us pray. And we pray for healing. Holly Cordova, Kathleen Griffin, Barbara Palacio, Tony Kassar, Kimmy Fam, Kimberly Fam Hewitt, Nancy Imagawa, Joan Donna, Carol Roman, Lisette Acopa, Jameson Montoya. Let us pray to the Lord, your good and faithful servants. And we pray for the repose of the soul Smith, Balin Teano, Lilia, Gail, Joseph Maas, John, John David, Mara, Angel Sakura, Aquino, and Liberato. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the needs each of us bring, we now recall in our hearts. For all these needs, let us pray to the Lord. And we continue to pray for an end to little ones whose lives have been taken from the wounds of the mercy of God as well. It's not for lazy enjoyment of those to whom are used to respond to greater responsibilities. Help us to use them wisely, so that is through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sins of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it able, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. Father Almighty and Eternal God, for the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. All your creatures serve you. All the redeemed with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels and claim. Sanctum. Sanctus Dominus Deus, Lenis Unceli, etc., Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna, in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. 
together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand down the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here as faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, will be offered for themselves and all who are due to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection of the dead, from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you're pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim, in humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things. O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
that the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord, the gracious, the merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and a desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who go about the world for the ruin of souls. Same. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer. Spouse of the Vir Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, and to you my request. With you, Christ, was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Let us sing number 255, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee, casting down their golden crowns around the glassy sea. Cherubim and seraphim falling down before thee, God everlasting through eternity. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see. Only thou art holy, there is none beside thee. Perfect in power, in love and purity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity.